guys, it's Toxic here, and in this BB6 tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to fill out HTML forms on websites using BB6. So, I'm going to start by opening BB6. Oh, whoops. And of course, you're going to click Standard EXE. And then I always, I always maximize the form thing, like the project window, because I hate having a bunch just like stacked on top of each other. It looks very messy in my opinion. But anyways, I'm gonna rename this to HTML form example. And I'm just gonna make it really crappy like GUI obviously. I'm not gonna make this tutorial really long. So I'm gonna make a couple labels here for username and password. And to demonstrate how to fill out forms, HTML forms, I'm going to be using the website scanforyou.net and I'm going to show you guys how to log in, how to fill out their login form and log in in your BV6 application. And you can use this knowledge to, you can use this knowledge with other things like, for example, the scanner on their site. You can use basically the same concept to fill out the variables for the scanner and scan files from a BB6 application. But anyways, so I'm gonna rename this text box to user or I mean password and the username text box to username. And I'm just gonna make a login button over here. And I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna change the caption but I'm not gonna change the name. Now you're gonna need a web browser control, so go to components and scroll down under the controls tab until you see Microsoft Internet Controls, and not transfer controls, just internet controls, and click apply, and you should get this crappy earth icon. Just click that and drag and drop, drag and drop across your form, and it should create a web browser, just a white blank web browser. And then what you want to do is what, what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it where on form on the form load it navigates to scan for you which I'm sure if you guys are looking up a tutorial like this to fill in web form do you know how to make a web browser navigate somewhere so I'm not gonna explain that and so what this is doing so far, obviously, it's just going to navigate to the website when the form loads. And I have already been logged in because I have my cookies saved. So I'm going to log myself out if I can find the button here. It's all in Russian. Nope, that's not it. Oh, yep, that was it. Alright, that's good. Okay, anyway, so all it does is navigate to the website, obviously. But under the command one dot click thing, I'm going to make a code where it'll input these variables, the text box for the username and the text box for the password, into the website text boxes and click login. So how I'm going to do that is we're going to be using a with statement. And we're going to just do with web browser one enter dot document dot all and then open open parenthesis open quote and this this right here we're gonna type the the HTML uh, the HTML variable we want to set a value to and this is gonna grab it by the name this is gonna grab it by the HTML name so how you get this is just right click the text box you're trying to fill in and click inspect element I do recommend using Google Chrome it makes it a lot easier rather than viewing the whole source and trying to find the text box. You can just inspect the element with Google Chrome, which makes this way faster. But anyways, so the name of this one is log and log in with an underscore in the middle. I'm just going to click Control c and copy and paste that. And paste it right here. And closing parenthesis, or I mean closing quote, closing parenthesis, and then dot value, whoops, sorry about that, dot value equals username dot text. So basically what we're saying is we want to set the text box that is named login. We want to set the value of that to username.txt. And the value is 
obviously self-explanatory. Like if I edit the HTML right here, if I edit if I edit it and add value equals and then something random, and then I just like close this, you'll see it added that value. So th basically, this is adding that value like that, except we're not going to be able to see that happening. But anyways, document. We're gonna add another one, another one of these lines. Document dot all, and then the same process as before, except we're gonna get the username text box name. Or I mean, oh, we're gonna get the password text box name, and the name of that is. Oh well, I accidentally renamed that when I was. I have to refresh this page. Sorry guys. All right. So we're going to get the password text name, and the name is PassW. I'm going to control C that, and paste that here, and uh, closing quote, closing parenthesis, dot value equals password dot text, and of course I'm not going to explain, explain this line because you already know what it does from the last one when I explained the last one. And now we got to make it click the button. So. We're going to get the name of the button, the name is ACT, I guess, from what I can see here, and I'm going to click Control C to copy and paste that, and now I'm going to type dot .document dot .all, and put the name here, and then dot .click, and in your with statement, and this should work out pretty nicely. So, well, before I type in my password, I'm going to add a password character to this. So that way you guys can't see my password. But anyways, so you, you can actually look at the web browser and watch it fill in the details. So, up here in my text box, I'm going to type my username. And then in my password text box, I'm going to type my password and I'm going to click login and you can see it fill that info in and as you can see it actually worked it clicked the login button and it logged in fine so uh, you could you could apply the same concept to these variables right here like the browse and the check file and all that stuff so if you wanted to make a scanner you could try to build off this method I'm not going to post a whole tutorial and continue this and teach you guys how to do that but this is just a general idea of how you fill out HTML forms on a web page. So I hope you guys like my VB6 tutorial. Um, I hope it helped some VB6 coders trying to do this that only knew how to do it in .NET. I don't know. But yeah, please subscribe to my tutorial. I mean my YouTube. And thumbs up, I guess. And comment. Thanks for watching.